from breathtaking world, huge MMOs, massive PC games imported to the quest, sequels to amazing games, and Minecraft? Uh I gathered 15 of the best upcoming Quest 2 games. Some of these are new and exciting, but the top five are the most anticipated games to be released on the Quest 2. Coming November 11th, Captain Toonhead versus the Punks from Outer Space. Let's just say that this one took a lot of imagination to come up with. I mean, what does a T-Rex have to do with piñatas, hot sauce, and heat-seeking fireworks? Captain Toonhead is a VR tower defense game. Number 14 is Loco Dojo Unleashed. Loco Dojo Unleashed is set to be released this month on the Oculus Quest 2. It's billed as a hilarious party game where you will have to put your silliest skills to the test. At number 13, we have Gun Raiders. This is a hidden gem you can get on the App Lab for free. It will release on the official Quest Store next week on October 7th for, I believe, $10. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. Number 12, you have After the Fall. Planned for late 2021 is After the Fall. It's a multiplayer game allowing you to team up to take on the undead. This game comes from the same folks who brought us Arizona Sunshine. Now for the number 11 spot, we have an interesting game. It's uh, it's actually a hand tracking game. Want to play a little virtual music? Unplugged might just be the game for you. Due to release October 21st, it will take advantage of the Oculus Quest 2's hand tracking, allowing you to play with no controllers or other devices. That's a game that I am super excited about, but I know that the next two games, people are really excited about these two titles just just watch here we have two anticipated mmos which both received additional funding for the game and i'm saying this because this should make us more hopeful for the game's success zenith the last city is expected to be released this year and will be a virtual multiplayer world where you will be able to work with others to conquer or to be conquered Elysia is the second MMO we have on this list, and it's an interesting looking game that's coming soon. It'll be a multiplayer game that will allow you to travel with other companions as you explore all there is to explore. Dungeons, caves, large cities, and much more. But watch out because one can only imagine the bosses that you may encounter during this game. <laughs> or should I say that you will encounter. Number 8 is Green Hell VR. This is set to make its debut before the end of the year. Set in the Amazon rainforest, the developers have set out to faithfully recreate the dangers you would face if you were actually stranded in the middle of it and needed to find your way out alone. Number 7, a title that I am really surprised they managed to get right here on the Quest 2, it's Rhythm of the Universe Ionia. It actually already released this past September. It's a music inspired game where you need to discover your powers as you seek to save the mythical creature, what's her name? Harpa. And it claims to be for all ages, so yeah, seems exciting. Finally, number six, we have Song in the Smoke, a title that I actually covered in the previous video, so you can go check that out right here. But basically, Song in the Smoke is a survival game set in the fanciful world of prehistorical beasts. According to the creators, Song in the Smoke is a VR survival adventure with new rules and a completely new medium. It's unlike anything we've done before, and it's our most ambitious title yet. The experience is completely immersive and engaging. This game seems really promising. Finally, here are the top five games everybody yes everybody is super excited about coming to the quest 2 this right here but just think real quick of the best video of this decade now imagine that game being imported to the quest 2 yeah if you're thinking about the same game that's what i'm going to be talking about in the end of this video at number five we have resident evil also coming out October 21st, fear will definitely be something you feel as you are thrown into sheer horror. But be warned, you will have to face these fears in order to survive. At number four, we have Medal of Honor. And you guys already know what this is. This actually released last year for a PC, and now it's being imported to the Quest 2. Like, how are they going to do that? Already, they were having some problems last year making this game run smoothly on, like, beast computers. Okay, I'm not saying this is a beast computer, but on, like, computers that are actually really good this one right here thank you editor but how are they going to import this to the quest 2 like we'll find out and number three we have a sequel to a very popular quest 2 game thrill of the fight 2 yes we want it sooner than later but certainly better that the developers take their time and get it right at this point it is projected hopefully early 2022 now coming up to the top two the most anticipated my most anticipated games uh in this list right now and i'm sure it's for many of you guys too. The highly anticipated native version of Boneworks or Project 4 
is coming to the Quest 2 in late 2019. I mean, uh, 2020. Wait, I'm wait. I'm sorry. I'm, I mean, 2021. Yeah, it's sad. It has been nearly three years in the making. But good things are worth the wait. And in all honesty, we don't know for sure when it will be actually released. Yet alone the actual name of the game, because Project 4 is assumed to be just a code name. And while Christmas release makes a lot of sense financially, a safe bet would be early 2022. And that's all the information I'm gonna be giving you guys for Boneworks. And before we move on to the most anticipated quest to game but if you guys want more information about boneworks or project 4 whatever my friend david duggan has a full complete video talking about boneworks and just everything we know about it so make sure you go click on it right here everybody wants this game natively on the quest 2 it's actually already in vr like you can actually play this game in vr yes i'm talking about Minecraft. In fact, Oculus were able to get the game working on the Quest for a while now. John Carmack from the Oculus team has publicly said this a few times. But the thing is, we don't know when it's going to be released. We don't even know if it will be a thing. I'm confident this will release on the Quest 2 natively. Uh, as like a bedrock version or something. But the only thing we can do now to push this uh, to go in that direction is to go in the description and vote. Vote for Minecraft coming to the Quest platform. If you are excited just as me, then be excited also to like and subscribe, please.